Hi everyone, my name is Sri Lakshmi. I am from Informatica GCS team. In this video, we will see how we can publish data using REST API in Cloud Integration Hub. This is the agenda for this video. So first we will see how we can create a publication which publishes data using REST API. Then we will move on to setting up um, this REST API request in Postman followed by a demo. To create a publication which publishes data using REST API, we need to go to Cloud Integration Hub page. And while creating a new publication, we'll be given three options. The first option, under publication method. So the first option is publish data with a data integration task. And then the second option is publish data using a file ingestion task. And the third option is publish data with an API. So we need to select the third option and also give the other details as in um, the topic name, application name, etc. After you give all the details and once you save the publication, you will be given with this REST API URL. So this REST API URL can be used to run a publication. This REST API URL can be used in Postman or any other REST API client to trigger a publication. So um, in this video, I'll be showing you how we can set it up in a Postman. I'm using Postman as a REST API client here. Um, so in order to set it up in Postman or in any other client, we need to have the below details. The first one is authentication. The authentication depends upon your requirement. In this case, I'm using a basic authentication in which I need to give the IACS username and password and followed by headers. Headers, there should be two headers, which is mandatory, which is content type and accept. And both of them should have the values application slash JSON. And then the URL, the URL we have, uh, the, we got from the previous slide, which is the URL to trigger a publication that needs to be used in the postman as well as the body. The body basically is the data uh, that we that we wish to publish into the staging database. So it, it should be given in a JSON format. Okay, um, now we'll move on to the demo. This is the cloud integration hub page in IACS. So let's create a new publication. So let's go to new publication and give a publication name. Select the third option, publish data with an API. Select the application app rest API and the topic which I've already created, which is topic underscore API. So let's save it. So this created the publication successfully. So once the publication is created successfully, let's copy this URL, which can be used in the Postman client. Now, let's see how we can set it up in Postman. So this is the Postman client and in the Postman client, copy the URL, which you uh, paste the URL, which you copied from the create publication page. So it will have the uh, name of the publication here at this part. And this basically depends upon the port where your org is in. This differs from port to port. And then the authorization is basic and I have given my IACS username and password and under headers, I have added content type and accept and the value being application slash JSON for both of them and then the body. So this is the data which I am going to publish into the topic. My topic has two fields. I mean, my the topic um, structure has two fields, field one and field two and both are strings. So I'm just giving some dummy data here, two rows of data. Um, so let's try publishing it. Now I'll run, I'll click send and it has returned success. So the event ID is this and it says the rows proceeded with is two and the success rows are also two. Now let's go to the cloud integration hub page and see if an event got created with this publication. So in the cloud integration hub page, go to events and here we see uh, the pub pub underscore API, which is the same publication which we ran. Okay, and the event ID is ending with 485 and we can see the event ID here. So this publication has run. So this is how we can create a publication that publishes data using REST API. The next uh, video would be about how we can subscribe data using REST API. Um, thank you for watching this video. In case you have any feedback, please let us know. Thank you.